you know, hey y'all, I, I don't know how good it is that the Braxtons are back. Now look, I'm a fan of the Braxtons as a, as a whole. I, I enjoy all of them individually as well. But I don't know how good it is for them to be back on television with everything that's going on for the family, for them. It's entertaining for us, but for them, I don't know how good it is. It's just, it's a lot. What's going on with Tamar and JR, y'all? And the whole thing, apparently he used her credit card, credit card allegedly and swiped it and she didn't know. Um, and he was, he's allegedly cheating on her with somebody. They're engaged, but they're married and, 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 and they never together, whatever's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. I don't, I don't really, Tamar, it's, 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 it's too much. And, and then, you know, the fact that he's, you know, as well and all this is just doing whatever to keep them. It's just, it's not given. It's, it's not given the it's upsetting the ancestors. I'll just say that. Um, what's going on? It's just, it's just crazy. It's crazy. Let, let me try not to make this video too um, long. Um, I know it's late to everything, but it's just been a lot going on. Um, three and four. What's been going on? We see Tony in the studio. No, Tony's rehearsing for a show with Cedric. Looking good. Tony looks great. She does look great. Um... And, you know, she's doing her thing, doing her little two-step. She was on the phone with Tawana talking about she was, um, you know, dancing like Janet and Brittany. I said, in your dreams, Tony, don't do that. We like you, Tony. We don't want to cut you out, please. Um, What else is going on, child? <sighs> oh, Trina and Vaughn. Did y'all see that live they did, I think, on the third episode? <sighs> Trina, I just don't know what to say. I'm going to shut my mouth because Vaughn looked like he'll come see me. He'll, he'll find my address and come come knock on my door. So let me be quiet. Let me not say nothing about Mr. Vaughn. Mr. Vaughn, let me not because you because I know you could beat me up without a problem. Let me not. But Trina, you in for it, sis. <laughs> Vaughn is a lot. Vaughn is, Vaughn is a lot to tackle. Okay. We're going to pray for you, Trina. Uh, we're going to pray for you too, Tawanda, with um Shine. Cause, cause my God, he he ain't missed many meals, has he? Child, me and me and Sean about shake the light, child. I said, well, okay. Um, he is still working on him. I guess he's gonna engage Tawanda at some point throughout the season. We saw the scenes, so fine, whatever. Tawanda still looks great with her bald head. We don't ever want a, a drop of hair back on your head, Tawanda. You look great. Um, I'm gonna say that every episode because I'm just looking at her. She's just stunning, 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 stunning. Um, what else is going on? So, uh, Tawanda and Trina and Vaughn and Sean they went to uh, Maryland to go and see Lil Kevin. Um, we see uh, Mikey, um, the brother, and we see the dad, um, and we see um, Michael's sons. For the first time, I don't think we've ever seen a Michael, uh, the brother's sons. Um, and then we see, the, I didn't know he was a granddaddy, uh, Michael, um, Mikey. So, yeah, I was just like, okay, well, that's cute. Um, so they were talking and, you know, little Kevin, he was talking about kind of how his relationship is with, with big Kevin. And um, how his dad is feeling some kind of way that Tracy left everything for like her whole brand, her whole everything she left for her son, she didn't leave it to the husband. So that's helping causing friction between him and his dad and stuff. And um, you know, uh Tawanda and Trina and, and Mikey and Michael Senior, the daddy, you know, they're all just trying to um speak positivity into him and, and to know that um I know that you and your dad are going through it right now, but um you can only do what you can do and None of this is your fault, and uh, things happen how they happen. Tracy made her decision, and that's that. Did y'all see at the end of the episode when Tawanda, um, when Trina told Tawanda that the producers was trying to get um, the daddy, Michael Senior, and um, Kevin Senior, uh, uh, Lil Kevin's daddy, to talk on camera, 
And to Wanda said, um, no, that'll never happen. That you know, he'll never be on my platform or whoop to whoop. You know, to Wanda and Sean, they did a live and they was talking about um Kevin Singer and, and him and some of the stuff that he did and, and whoop to whoop. Um, I don't doubt any of that. There's a lot that we haven't seen. There's a lot that we don't see. Um, you know, there's a lot that just has happened. Um but once again, what we see, what we have seen is what we have seen on Braxton Family Values for, what, seven years on the show? And, um, you know, it's fought on both sides, in my opinion. It is. It is. It, in, in, in every way. I don't think anybody is, is completely innocent at all. You know, obviously, there are issues with Kevin run deep. Deeper than the show. Things that have been happening for years. Because he and Tracy has been married since the late 90s. So it's just a lot throughout the years that nothing happened. So, you know. Like Usher say. If I'm going to tell it, then I got to tell it all. Tell it all. You know, what's tea? What's really going on? To one of them, just like, you know, don't push me and whoop to whoop. I say, well, child. If you're not going to say it, then just whatever. You know, but but. It's not fair to not want to hear Kevin's senior side as well. Like I say, I think both of y'all are telling, I think both sides are telling the truth. And I think both sides are making themselves shine. I told I told Because we saw what we saw for seven years on, on television. We're not going to go back all back into it. But we saw what we saw, you know. But praise the Lord. What else is going on? Um... I think that Tamar is not even on the show. Tamar is on the show, but she's not on the show. Tamar is hanging out with 20-year-olds. I don't know what's going on with Tamar. It's just, it's it's a lot. I feel sad for Tamar um, that she is not connected with the sisters like that. Um, she's off doing her own thing, child. She running out to JR. She ain't got time. That's all. I, um, it's just a lot with the, with the Braxtons. The sisters are in shambles. You hear me? I just don't know. Um, what else is going on? Anything else interesting happen? Oh, Miss E and Tamar, they got their own um, cooking show on the Clio uh, TV. We got Clio. We play Spectrum. Tired of paying charter. They high. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to check that out. That, that's cute um, that they have that show. What else is going on? Anything else interesting that happened? No, I don't think so. So, should I end the review? Anything y'all want to talk about? Look, like I'm live. Like, I, you know, anything y'all want to talk about? Look, look, like I'm live. Um, Yeah, it's just the Braxons of the Braxons. Listen, we here for it. The, it's, it's, it's the drama. They definitely bringing it. I don't know if they're coming back for season two, but they are. Um, they definitely bringing it, girl. Like I said, I don't think the show is going to bring them closer. Unfortunately, sadly for them, I don't think it's going to bring them closer as sisters. And I hate that. I do. Um, it's just, um, it's tough. It's a tough time for all of them. And, and But um, I am, I do appreciate their bravery for, show, for showcasing it and showing us. Because they didn't have to. They could have stayed away. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. For sure. You know, Tamar, she's in therapy. And I'm excited to see her. She's writing a memoir. She said memoir slash self-help book. I think it's a little too early for her memoir. No. Tamar's still a young girl. You know, Tamar's still out there hanging out with 21-year-olds. So, obviously, her story is still getting written. So, I don't know. I think it's a little too young for Tamar's memoir. I think she got a lot more living to do, child. But hey, I'll, I'll definitely read it. I'm definitely excited. She's working on a new album, so I'm great. Tamar Braxton albums are everything. You hear me? My favorite album is um, Calling All Lovers, the, uh, the third one. Um, So, yeah. Anything else? I think that's it. The Braxtons are giving child. With that said, I'm Mr. Chalaki. Mr. Chalaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Eskins on Instagram and Twitter at Eskins on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook. Mr. Chalaki on Cash App, PayPal, and TikTok. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. <laughs>